This is a standard rating block uh, for GD Rating System Pro plugin, and uh, it contains uh, stars, and contains uh, rating overview and uh, current user uh, rating data. Uh, to display this rating block, plugin uses templates. Uh, each uh, rating uh, method has own templates, and uh, if you open a settings for stars rating here, you will see that template has uh, many templates you can choose from. Uh, by default, it uses the template called default. Uh, let's switch to default with distribution. This template is practically the same, but it adds one more thing, and that is votes distribution. Uh, there are other templates, including the one that disables the votes, uh, the disables the voting process. As you can see, stars are not active and it doesn't show user uh, vote here. Uh, the best thing about this system is that you can uh, create your own templates or change uh, default templates. Uh, this will allow you to customize uh, the overlook, uh, uh, the, the overview of the rating block uh, and uh, the look of the rating block. Uh, you can move elements around, you can add uh, different things to it, and you can change styling and, and whatever you want. And uh, to do that, uh, we'll see first uh, the list of all templates plugin has currently loaded. Uh, here is each rating method and the uh, templates that you can use. All templates are split into two types, and that is rating list and rating block. So, since we are working with stars rating, we have rating list and rating block. Uh, if you remember, we have seen all these uh, templates inside the, the the list for selecting the template on the settings for this rating method, and uh, each one is listed here, and also it gives you the exact name of the file uh, that uh, contains that template. Uh, here is the folder for uh, this plugin and inside that folder you have a folder called Templates and here there, there are all default templates uh, located. So, if we are using default stars rating templates, this is default one, you can see the file here. Okay, this is the file. We'll open that file in the editor. And as you can see, this is a combination of HTML and PHP, just like normal WordPress templates are, for, for instance. And you can uh, uh, see everything here, and you can modify everything here. But it is not recommended to make any changes to templates that are in the plugin folder. Once the plugin is updated, any changes you made here will be gone. So, plugin allows you to modify any of these templates by uh, copying them uh, into your current team and modifying them there. Here we have a, a child team prepared and uh, this team is actually in use right now. Uh, so the basic thing you can do is copy this file here. And that's it. If you load this page now, it will load the template uh, from the team folder. You cannot uh, see that, but it does happen. So, to prove it, we'll open the template that is located in the in into in in our team, and we'll add the.
and add this. So this is the proof that template is now loaded from uh, the team uh, uh, from the team folder. If you want to keep a better track of uh, uh, rating te uh, templates inside the team, you can create a new folder and put the team there. So uh, put the template there. So all templates you want to modify should go into this uh, into this folder. This way, you can later move the whole. Uh, template uh, folder to another team and uh, use it uh, uh, from there and uh, it will keep it um, separated from the rest of the uh, team templates that you might uh, might have okay uh, what can you do here some elements you should not touch this here is very important and uh, it sets up uh, the template so it is best uh, to leave it uh, as it is. Uh, all actions that uh, template uh, runs should be also left uh, where they are so this and this here are mandatory and uh, are required by various uh, uh, plugin features to, to be present. And this line here is also required. Rating block will not work if that is not present. Everything else practically you can move around or even remove. And uh, let's see, the first thing we want uh, to remove is uh, current uh, user vote. So this line here displays the stars. Next we have a block displaying the rating text and then we have a block displaying the current user vote so we will remove all that and that's it and save if we load it now everything is, is as it is except for the user vote that is gone so we have made the first modification to our template. If you want to create a new template, let's say we want to make a copy of this one, we'll copy the file here and the important thing is to remember that uh, template name describes the template method so this part is required rating method is required rating type uh, uh, template is required this is a simple uh, single template for uh, actual rating blocks and only this last part you can name as you want let's name it like this if you open this template for edit, you also need to set the name here. Where it says uh, GDRTS template, you can change it, change the name here. This is used as a label for this template and uh, that will be used to display the template in the uh, template selection uh, field. If we refresh this page, you will see that our template is not here. Stars rating rating block, it is not here. Uh, to avoid scanning for templates uh, with every load, plugin requires you to recheck for templates any time you add a new template. Just open recheck and update. And uh, if you check it now, you will see it here. My custom template is now uh, listed in uh, in the list of all templates, and you can use it. Uh, and you can use it uh, for this rating uh, method. 
here it is if we refresh the page this template will be used it is copy of our previous one but uh, uh, we can now customize our template without uh, making any changes to default WordPress or to default uh, plugin templates we'll remove this one here and we'll continue to work with uh, this template uh, here using this method you can create custom templates for any of the rating methods and any of the uh, block types uh, for uh, single rating blocks or for lists. I will make a copy of one more. Uh, make sure to set proper name for each template or you will end up uh, having two templates with same name and you will get uh, get them mixed up uh, when you need to use them and we'll copy make a copy of uh, let's say times rating we'll name that one too Okay. Once you add your own templates, it is very important that you recheck and update uh, uh, the plugin and uh, force it to scan for new templates. So, tools, recheck and update. Okay. To confirm, open information, templates list. And uh, here is our star rating uh, list template, and uh, here is our custom times rating template. To use these templates, make sure to select them uh, in the settings, and uh, we'll check that too for times. template switch from default to my thumbs and uh, whatever you make whatever changes you make to my thumbs that will be visible uh, anytime you load the page with uh, thumbs rating using this template this way you keep all the default templates safe without any modifications and you only work with your own custom templates ensuring that if something goes wrong you can go back to uh, default uh, templates without uh, uh, without any issues and uh, all your changes are in your own templates ready to move from one team to another without uh, uh, the need to worry about the plugin itself uh, stay tuned for the part 2 of this template where we will see how to customize uh, these templates uh, and uh, to make changes uh, to better fit uh, uh, what you need uh, uh, when you need to display rating blocks.